Today is September 2nd, and it's the day before our closing. How do you feel? Fine. He's beginning on my nerves today, but it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> when do I get on your nerves? Excuse me? When do I get on your nerves? What you been doing? When don't I get on your nerves? Oh, that's true. Still haven't finished packing. <sighs> nope. Not yet. But we have time. So until tomorrow. What happens tomorrow? I already said it. What'd you say? We close tomorrow. Yeah. Say bye. She got all the money. No. <laughs>
hours later and everything is taped off taped off all of that we took up all the carpet right here i taped off all of this and the other rails sweat and now he's starting to pull up the laminate in the dining room in the kitchen so tomorrow he's gonna finish he's gonna finish pulling up the laminate Ooh, my eyes oh my no. oh the linoleum i got it right all the time and now i'm getting it wrong i'm tired um yeah so Pulling up all the linoleum, linoleum, tomorrow, the rest of it. And hopefully, we get to start putting the laminate down. And once I get off of work, I'm going to sand and then start staining. Okay, so my task tomorrow is to finish taking up all the floor ring. Well, the laminate, not the, the wood under it. The linoleum. I gotta go. <laughs> All right, guys. All the carpet is up. As you can see, it was in the living room area. Um, all of the linoleum is up now. Which that wasn't really the hard part. Moving the appliances. Excuse the countertop. All the appliances had to take out. But... There are these staples. Let's see if you can see them. Staples. So the linoleum was on top of some kind of wood. Whatever this is. And the uh, wood was stapled into the plywood. It was really, really hard. So we got this little nail remover. Pretty cool. So now I am getting ready to start putting the floor down. So this is underlayment. Right here, Put that down. I'm only going to probably get to about this area right here today or tonight. Been working hard the past three days. I'll show you what my fiance has been doing. Paint stain all whitey. Looks pretty good. Gotta see what she's working with when this finish. But yeah, so she's staining the rails to match the flooring. Uh, we did put a couple handles up last night to match the black faucet and the black appliances. So update for right now. We'll give you an update probably tomorrow night. Got a lot to do tomorrow. A lot to do tomorrow. But it'll all be done tomorrow. I can see it right now. So we will see you all tomorrow. All right, so we're back on today, which is September the 7th, I believe. So here's an update since last night. Um, I started at like 8 o'clock and stopped because I was watching the basketball game last night. So it took about two hours off. Then I got up this morning around 10 and started. So... This is kind of the update, but set the camera up so you can kind of see how I'm doing the flooring.
Hello. Welcome back to my channel. The last video was him installing the flooring or starting to install the yeah. flooring while I Halfway. took out staples for three more days. Hand was swollen. It was just. It was worth it. <laughs> it was, but sheesh. That was a lot of staples. Yeah, it was worth it. But, it looks um, nice. Yeah, it does. Yeah, I do a little bit more work, but not that one. So right now, I'm gonna put up these temporary blinds from IKEA. I think these are like two ninety nine each. Well, I'll look up another wall mount because when we have does not work or no TV in this house. Unless you take the one from your man cave. Got the blinds up and I put these heavy objects there so they can stretch a little bit because they're they shrink back up and it's the point of having blinds if they don't cover the window fully. I'm gonna show how the floors turned out. There's stuff everywhere, so please excuse that. We're still trying to get everything together. We're still putting stuff up, still unpacking. So we did put this Ikea Besta TV stand up in the TV. It is a 65 inch. It looks a little crooked right now. Hold up. Maybe it is a little crooked. I don't know. It is going to say like that. It took us <laughs> days to get this off and on. And I'm only but so big, so me trying to carry or hold up this 65 inch with him was just a hot mess. Um, and this, and this too. We still have to put holes in the wall to run the wires through so it could look seamless or they can be hidden completely, I guess. But all of this stuff is in this drawer. And I need some zip ties so I can organize that also because that looks a hot mess. Oh, and they're pushed closed. And I still have to figure out how to fix the drawers because they're all uneven and I don't like that. Um, this is how the kitchen is looking right now. That's it. Everything's a mess. We got tools everywhere, everywhere. <sighs> And we have to order more of these bar stools because we only have two, but they go so well with the cabinets and the countertop and the hardware. Oh, <laughs> and we only put up four handles. It is so hard. I don't know. I don't know why the handles are so hard to put on, but that's something else we struggled with for a long time. And... Yeah, but it'll get done eventually. Um, oh, and these are from Amazon. Yeah, we'll be back for another update. We'll be getting our dining room table this week. The couch won't be here for another three weeks, but I'm not even going to get into that. Um, yeah, so catch you guys in the next update i forgot to show the results of the wood stain on the rails so i do have to touch it up some um like these inner corners right here super hard to get i got some on the wall but we're gonna repaint and then the tape that i used to make sure that this is covered didn't work but yes these are the ribs. Beautiful.